Hello and welcome to Dart Tutorial. In this video, you will learn about abstract class and abstract method in Dart. You cannot create object of abstract class, but it is very, very important concept of object oriented programming. Let's see why. Okay, here you can see information about abstract class. Before learning abstract class, you must have some basic understanding of class, object, constructor, inheritance, then you can learn abstract class very, very easily. If you don't have knowledge of this topic, then you can go to our previous section or watch our previous videos. Okay. Now let's talk about abstract class. Already uh, we uh, what we did was we created class and we created object from that class that class is concrete class you can create object of concrete class but you cannot create object of abstract class okay now let's see what abstract class is abstract class are the classes that cannot be initialized you cannot initialize abstract class it is used to define a behavior of a class that can be inherit by, inherited by other classes, subclasses. Okay, we'll uh, see the practical demo very very soon. An abstract class is declared using the keyword abstract. Okay, here is the syntax. First, you need to write abstract class, then class keyword, then your class name, and you can write method. We, this semicolon means you need to implement this method in subclass okay i will show you practical demo okay here is abstract method an abstract method is a method that is declared without an implementation okay here you can see this method one is declared without implementation so it is called abstract method it is declared with semicolon instead of method body. Instead of method body, you can just write semicolon. So it is abstract method. If you write curly bracket, then that is normal method. If you write semicolon, then that is abstract method. Let's move forward. Here you can see why we need abstract class. Subclass of an abstract class must implement all the abstract method of the abstract class here is the thing it is used to achieve abstraction in dark programming language okay now let's see one practical example here you can see one class that is abstract class and the class name is vehicle it have two method two abstract method because here you can see semicolon if the method does not have curly bracket then that is abstract method okay abstract method must be inside a must be uh, written inside of abstract class okay now let's do this example i will create one class that is vehicle okay this is normal class you need to write abstract okay to make it abstract okay this is abstract class okay every vehicle need to start and stop okay these two functionality are needed so void start void stop okay now this is fine these are the abstract method okay and you can also write normal method here no problem for that i will say void display you can just print this is from vehicle abstract class let's try to create object of vehicle 
ओके ओके आल से वेहकल भी इक्वल टू वेहकल दिस इज नॉट पॉसिबल हेर यू कैन सी एबस्ट्रैक्ट क्लास कैन नॉट बी इंस्टेंशिएटेड Try creating an instance of concrete subtype. Okay, this is not possible. Okay, the use of this abstract class is in subclass. Okay, let's create subclass or child class. Class, I will say bus extend vehicle. If you don't understood this extend keyword, then you need to learn inheritance first okay inheritance video is already available on this channel as well as we have dedicated content on our website okay now let's see what is happening here this bus class extend vehicle and this vehicle has two abstract matter we need to implement that abstract method in our bus class this is compulsory okay so first you need to implement void start okay void start thus i'll print bus is starting okay and another method void stop void stop if you define these two method then there will be no problem if you don't define this two method then there is a problem okay print boss stop okay if you can also write override here override and override here also okay now this is fine and you can also create other class like car i'll create class car extend vehicle okay here you can see here also we need to define two method that is start and stop okay i'll just copy this one and paste it here and i'll say car is starting and car is stopped okay you cannot create object of vehicle but you can create object of bus and car let's create object of bus okay i'll say bus b is equal to bus and car c is equal to car okay now let me call b dot start b dot stop okay okay let me run this dot abstract dot dot okay bus is starting and bus is stop got printed if i say c dot start and c dot stop then it will say car is starting and car is stop the main intention of creating this abstract class is we must have to implement abstract method in sub class okay this is the useful one okay now let's move forward here you can see abstract class is used to define the behavior of class that can be inherited by other class uh, other classes you can define abstract method inside abstract class okay if you don't write abstract here then this is you cannot define abstract method you need to write abstract keyword at the top okay now let's move forward here you can see another example you can uh, practice this example on your own and uh, let's see constructor in abstract class okay okay now here you can see here is a bank bank class bank abstract class with two properties name and rate and here is one constructor and here is one abstract method and here is non abstract method okay i'll create this one i'll create new file that is bank bank dot dot i'll say class bank and 
inside this bank we need to create two let's create two properties that is name and rate constructor i'll just copy this one and paste it here okay here you can see uh, this is name and rate they are the properties and here is constructor and here is abstract method this is showing error because we need to make it abstract okay now this is fine okay and here is display method non-abstract method if you have body then this is non-abstract method if you don't have body then that is abstract method okay now let's create its subclass okay class abstract class bank okay now let's see okay i'll say class sbi extend bank okay okay now we need to create constructor of sbi uh, sbi i need to pass a string name and rate rate is double rate okay rate super i need to pass name rate okay now this is fine okay we need to define abstract method that is interest void interest i'll just print the interest of sbi bank is dollar rate i will say just dollar rate now this is fine okay you can also create other class which extend bank for uh, this time i will just write void main and i'll create object of sbi sbi sb is equal to sbi okay now i'll say sbi and rate is 25.0 now let me call sb dot interest okay if i run this one that bank dot dot okay now here you can see the interest of sbi bank is 25 got printed in this way you can also create another uh, bank that extend from bank okay and you can you need to compulsory define this method okay here you can also see the same example you can also write override this is good habit to write override here okay now this is fine and here are some key points to remember you cannot create object of abstract class this is one very most important key point it can have both abstract and non-abstract method okay here you can see this is abstract method and this is non-abstract method you can also call this method i'll say okay sb dot display okay if i run this program here you can see bank name sbi got printed okay in this way you can have both abstract and non-abstract method it is used to define the behavior of class that other class can inherit okay you cannot create object of abstract class but you can create object of subclass okay abstract method has only abstract method only has a signature and no implementation here you can see this abstract method has only signature but no implementation we need to do implementation part in our subclass okay now this is all about abstract class and abstract method in dart if you have any question then comment down below you can also share this video with your friends and uh, you can share this video on different flutter groups dart groups this will help me to create more amazing content for you Thank you so much for watching this video up to the very end. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.